Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. We're back with our wonderful sorcerer who hasn't died yet, uh, which is an important thing because we're now pushing past level 20. Um, as a little reminder, uh, we've been going around doing some strongholds. We might need to level up a little bit more before doing the next one. Um, so what we could do is we could go over to the malignant tunnels and do one of those. We could do some Tree of Whispers uh, caches, start working our way along that. And over time, we're going to end up getting enough experience to level up. Before we do that, though, let's drink an Iron Barb Elixir and learn about gem crafting. Just so that that is, is all done. We can also do jewelry upgrading. Um, what does that actually want us to do for that? Is it going to be... Yeah, craft a gem. Oh. Many fine pieces, rare and rare. There we go. 608 XP. A little bit of extra because of our potion. So worth it. So worth it. Right. So at the moment we've kind of leaned into Thorn's damage on our chest piece. As we level up further we're going to want to pay attention a lot more to our survivability. So let's... Ooh, we could do some side quests nearby. No, if we're going to do side quests, we're going to do them in other areas so we can also benefit from... That expires in 19 minutes. I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to do 19 minute dungeon, but we could do some grasslands harvesting and we do kind of need to go up to Solio's hideout. Right, let's teleport to Kevbardu. And we'll do some uh, some whisper stuff in the area, and then we might switch halfway through the episode. <clears throat> now we do have a, a bit more survivability than uh, than we've had recently. Now that we've got the barrier enchanted onto our equipment, so that's good for us. Uh, but there is a hell of a lot more that we need to pay attention to. Not while I'm in town. Uh, we are not in town. The game really needs to figure out its town entrance exit bits. Like, that, that's just basic detection. I know I'm complaining a lot uh, this season, but uh, they've, they've had the game out for a while. They've had a major patch, and they've had plenty of opportunity to address these things by now, so... It is not on. Cool, let's get those bits sorted. We're going to want to be healing up soon. Soon we're going to be able to um, get our passive skill, which is going to allow us to heal for nearby burning people. Um, but we're not quite there yet. Anyone up in this neck of the woods? There's some things. Actually, that's a lot of things. So let's hit a lot of them together. Focus on not dying unnecessarily. Okay, up to 40. Lethal Shrine. I need time to Almost able to do another one of our big inferno things. Ooh, hello, I will definitely take that. We're getting a lot closer to the mobs than we really need to. And some of that's just because I'm I'm eager to, to push forwards and get us closer to where we're supposed to be. But uh, we could we could be playing a lot more carefully is what I mean by that statement. Well that that was unnecessary. I thought they were gonna survive more than they did there. Alas, it did not happen. Only 25 more mobs to go. Ooh, 
Oh, and it looks like we're already pushing up further in some of the tiers. Uh, so, as you saw in the last episode, uh, we completed Season 2 on our softcore character. Uh, so we are going to be missing out on some of the benefits of having done it all on the hardcore one. That's It's not really a, a big problem. You know what, I'm going to get a... A big inferno over here. We should be able to just move up and uh, put this all in. Ooh, that is disgusting. Is it not? So the question is, where is this point? It's going to be up a little further to the right, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, there we go. Tree of Whispers is happy enough with us. Oh, because we got all the all the nearby ones. Well, we may as well return to the Tree of Whispers. We didn't actually do this one properly. Because I obviously wasn't wasn't paying attention enough. That's fine. Let's head back. Get a reward. While we're here, let's have a look at this. Ooh, that is better. We're going to lose thorns, but more maximum life and more damage reduction is good. And that's flat damage reduction, so it counts against the ones that are right next to us. That is also better, but I'm happy keeping my current barrier one. It's going to be kind of vital for our survive. So, Tree of Whispers, what are we going to be offered this time? It is done. Helms? Chaos? Hmm. Or rings. I think rings is a good choice. Look at that. And an amulet as well. Right. So I am going to put these on. They're going to give us um, a direct benefit. And we're going to need more things to socket into them. But these are just flat better than our current ones. So we'll wear those. Uh, we've also got plus one rank of all mastery skills. So that gives us blizzard, it gives us meteor, and it gives us ball lightning. That's kind of cool. I don't know if we would be able to use them. But we can at least have a look at what the enchantment effects are. So critical strikes have a 25% chance of... Mm, lucky hit chance of that. Every 15 seconds a blizzard forms over you and follows you for 6 seconds. That's nice in itself, just being followed around by a blizzard. I think I might have already looked at those in the past, but it's good to remind ourselves. We could socket stuff straight into this, but for now what I'll do is I'll put that in and that in. That gives us a bit more thorns. And then for jewellery, we could get some resistances just to tide us over. And eventually we'll un unsock it and, and get something new in there. Right, so with Grim Favors done over here, what would be the next? We might be able to still do this one. It might still be valid. Let's go see if it is. I cannot do that here. At the very least, it's getting us experience. Yeah, so we're really not far away from it. Yeah. 
So fingers crossed we'll just be able to hand it in and get the benefits straight away. And then we'll go to the nearby dungeon, I think. Let's get you guys killed. You're gone, and you're gone. And we've got plenty of time for this. So, Altar of Reaping. Right, let's get off this bit. And get them all pulled in. These are going to go down pretty quickly. We'll pop another defense. Just so we don't have to worry about it. And that's three more Whispers. Or three more Grim Favors for the Tree of Whispers. Love it. Mmm. Do we go for the Deep Forest or do we push into Zoloia's Hideout? I think Zoloia's Hideout is probably going to be the most useful for us. Because that's going to move us closer towards getting another skill point. Can we do anything with this again? No. No, it's, uh, it's still just going like, ah, uh, no. E everything that you needed has been done here. I can't wait until we can get some some healing up close. Even healing from mobs we kill would be would be a step forwards. Like that was that was more dangerous than it needed to be. We shouldn't be in that much danger from something getting close to us. I feel like we need more damage reduction as well, but the big difference between this and our um, werebear is we are straight away on the higher difficulty level. So things will be more dangerous. Little bit of money. I suppose it's better than nothing. We're about to gain a level. I'm not trusting much. Let's get the crate of herbs. This is why we don't trust anything. No, thank you. I will take that level, though. Thank you very much. Okay. So we need to put uh, at least seven points in to get down here. But before that, we can push towards warmth. So we're going to need Fiery Surge. Killing a burning enemy increases mana regen. That's cool. Next up... I think we'll probably go for and endless pyre seems good, but soul fire is is probably going to be more useful to us overall. So with with Zelaya's hideout, did we do everything that we needed in there? Of 
Because I think we would have done. Okay, well, let's uh, let's focus on the other things. So the hallowed ossuary. That's all the way down in. Oh right, I see. Sorry, hunger for a new life. That's what we wanted. Yeah, it's just over here. Back we go. I was looking at the wrong area. That was my problem. It was all all about fractured peaks. And that wasn't what we needed. It's a lawyer. Found the herbs you wanted. Oh, finally. Uh, give me the herbs. No. <gasps> I know, my dear. Now just give me a minute to brew this tea. This doesn't seem like it's going well. There. Oh, Yun, how do you feel? What? No, much better. <sighs> better, I think. Yes. Sulaya. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. There's no need to apologize. I never... <sighs> she seems to be calming down. Wait. I have a favor to ask. Journals, okay. My yeah, we can uh, we can grab your journals. Is it gonna actually let us take them? It does not look like it. Well, at the very least, we'll we'll get the benefit of the herbs. I guess that could be something that happens later, or as uh, as part of the one of the other quests. So, if we're going to be focusing in the dry steps, we need another 75 renown. Doing two dungeons would do that. That's a dungeon that would benefit us if we have anything that does. Ooh, this one would also work. If we had anything that did uh, cold damage or, or froze an enemy. And what's this one? That's Bone Prison. I mean, it's it's probably straightforward enough to actually do the dungeon. But I'd rather get ones that are going to be beneficial. Basic skills gain 15% attack speed. That's not bad. We're not exactly crowd controlling enemies. And then we're out of the dry steps and into uh, Kedjistan. So yeah, I think... Uh... Ooh, that's an interesting one. Storm Spell. Extra damage to vulnerable enemies while you have a barrier. We are potentially generating barriers. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go to the Onyx Watchtower and grab this. We might not put it on anything, but having the option is nicer than, than not having it. And I've not done the Onyx Watch Tower before, so this is this is going to be a new one. So as a reminder, the main reason we're uh, we're doing these side missions is so we can get renowned, so we can get skill point. It's also having the benefit of leveling us up, so we'll be able to do another stronghold and move forwards on our season journey. So it's a it's a double whammy. Luckily, these guys move relatively slowly. So we have plenty of time to kill them before they get too close. Except for that guy. I mean, we we got lucky with that dodge, but... With their explosion size, we don't really want to be dealing with any of their crap. Okay, nice and safe. We've got to slay all enemies in here, so it makes sense for us to be thorough about it. Let's try and get them grouped up together nicely.
Firewall doesn't quite do the level of damage that, um, that I would have hoped, but it is still very useful. I'm being able to get multiple firewalls out as well. It's something that I appreciate. Like, you're a fiery one. Let's grab that battle staff. And then move around carefully. Yeah, there's a lot of mobs in here, so we want to make sure we're doing the most we can with them. And travelling around nice and logically. So we'll do a left wall hug first. And actually, letting the, um, letting the Hydra dictate which ones we go for is not the worst thing because it's very good at spotting which ones are closer. Cool. Another big group gone. Shoot through the uh, through the gates. Big disappointment. We could be doing this a little bit faster, but we're not in any rush. I wonder how much more damage we end up doing, actually. So, 155 damage per second, or... 18... Yeah, or 57, just, like, every time it hits. I think it works out more doing this. Like, I think it is significantly better, especially with the channeling shrine. That's just going to be a no-brainer. Okay, while we've got the channeling shrine, keep it up. I'm out of mana. Well, the channeling shrine isn't there anymore. But we managed to make big progress forwards while it was active. Yeah. Lots coming in. Yeah. Let's burn them out quickly. That That's really satisfying when that happens. Getting a nice group together and then being able to just flamethrower them. Okay, this is where we're going to have to come back to after we've killed everything. So let's keep moving. The tiniest little trap, just doing its little spiky bits. Okay, we're down to the last seven or six. Woo! No, thank you. I know you're going to explode. I do not want your bowel gases all over me. That's just going to be disgusting. Okay, onto the Bastille of the Damned, which is actually back around this way.
Uh, before we actually go down there, let's just uh, have a very quick look at our uh, skills. So one thing we've not done is we've not done teleport, uh, which is all the way up here. Interesting. Teleport is an attack. I did not know that was a thing. Hmm. We might want to equip it at some point because it's it is a very useful defensive tool. And thinking about like if we were to run into the butcher, how how bad that could end up being. Oh, I dodged the wrong way there. Let's get you burned down. Okay, pushing levers. All the extra XP, that's what we did it for. Apparently there's some languishing corpses in here. You know what, let's just pull these guys together. Ow. Being vulnerable and having them doing their thing, not cool. That could have been very bad. I was quick on the potion. But we could have ended up triggering our um, emergency life. I'm going to get you killed before you get anywhere near me, my friend. Not taking the chance today. We're going to have enough uh, trouble playing keep away with the real dangerous things rather than just the accidentally dangerous things. Take them down. We're doing well on the experience front. We're doing very well on the experience front. We're most of the way through the next level, actually. That's okay. We're going to stand in the middle and just, just burn them. That's how we're getting around this. Carrying on with the left wall hug. So we're just specifically following the map down this way at this point. Oh yeah, and they the fact he makes you vulnerable when he does that. Do not like it. I need time to prepare that. Took him down though. Just the right amount of keep away. And now is actually going to be a good time to top up our potion just so it doesn't run out while we're in the middle of a combat. I'm out of mana. Okay, he's got quite a lot of health, but it goes down easily enough. It looks like there's one of the corpses is just nearby. Can we get fire underneath him? He's he can't be immune. Or are they just immune while in in there? I think that's what it is. Okay, let's 
back up a bit, leave them on fire. Okay, he wasn't too damaging, which is which is good. That um, suppression around him. Little bit worrying it was, not gonna lie. Little bit worrying. Having to get close to things that are good at being close. Very dangerous. Okay, we can do another Inferno as and when we want. actually just burn these guys down all at once. Alright. We'll do it the old fashioned way then. Fire bolt rather than fire or inferno flamethrower incinerate. That's it. That's the skill we're using. So many different variants. Given we can shoot through burning enemies, firebolt's actually really effective. Get them on fire so they are burning to death. No, that's uh. Let's not stand directly on it. And out of mana. But we want him to be standing on R1. Ow, that gets painful. Still, we did what we needed, gained level. Okay, this point is going to go into Endless Pyre enemies taking more damage the longer they're burning and then we're going to go for warmth and we're going to max this out as soon as we can I like that they try and run towards you but they're not completely unstoppable like it's a it's a really nice touch that they are dangerous But being dangerous doesn't mean they're unkillable. Yeah, that immune is it's just annoying, especially when he's fighting in this area, right? Okay, he's gonna die over time. We can we can yet. leave him alone. Or at least he's supposed to. Now he's dead. One more of these guys to go. Pretty solid amount of damage we did to him just um just straight up there while face tanking him. Ooh. Frozen orb stays in place after okay, so this is the seasonal thing, but that's still very cool for an offhand. So we're losing some lucky hit chance, but it is significantly more damaging, which is a big thing, and we can we can add life on kill, which is going to help us out. So I'm, 
I'm happy to hold on to this. And we can always enchant it later. Or replace it with something better when better comes along. We're not using Frozen Orb, so... You know what, let's... Let's try and clear the area out first. Before going after this big guy. Hi! Just face tanked him until it was done. And that is the dungeon. Awesome. One down, one to go. Hey. My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. Okay, I will I will try and keep you alive. That is a lot of nasties though. Apparently not. Apparently you've annoyed everyone. It's not much longer that we have to survive. And we can do another Inferno if we need. Which is probably a smart choice. How you doing? You, Wanderer. Without you, I'd be dead. I think I can manage from here. Oh, please, uh, take this. Please. Yeah, just pull that out, your butthole. What have we got? We've got some... Upgrades, I think. That's worse. That's better. Uh, so, more damage over time, more overpower damage, more damage to crown controlled, but we lose damage to distant enemies. Uh, so, overall, actually, it's not as good. I think I prefer our current one, if I'm honest. With the extra damage to distant enemies, most enemies are far away from us. So we'll uh, we'll keep our current one. Right, let's head back to town. We could explore in here a little bit further, but there's not really any any benefit to us doing that. And we need to salvage up our stuff and make a bit of space. My skill is unmatched. Lovely. Okay, I think we are going to do another dungeon here. That was That's just going to max us out nice and easily. We could also do two side quests. Or we could get one more waypoint. To get one more waypoint here, we actually just need to go over here. So let's do that. Because then we can focus on other areas and other skill points. And this is going to get us the healing, which is which is kind of what we've been aiming for this episode. I cannot do that here. I am sure this is not a good way to take a horse. Go around? Yes, we can go around. Fight, fighting these guys is not going to be a problem, uh, but we'll we'll come back and do some combat after we've got this uh, waypoint. There it is. 
Fates retreat. So, one more should do it. That's in Scoss Glen, and I think the others are all. Actually, no, we can do the one in the in the dry steps over there, can't we? So, if we're going to get to that, the easiest way is going to be Kedbardu, and then ride round. And we want to come in from the northwest, so we don't get immediately murdered by people that are here for PvP. All vitally important. What with PvP um, damage reduction, whether it counts for thorns? Because 395 health is not a lot. I was doing like 28 thorns damage against mobs that were attacking me. I would worry if so if a, another player had that amount of thorns damage and then just like goaded me into attacking them. No, that looks like one we don't want to go near. Yeah, cool. It's, go it's going to bring us in from the right side. That's what I was most interested about. Okay, let's, uh, let's go around. Don't need to get ourselves stuck in any of these bits. We could do this event on the way through, actually. This is not an easy one. Out of mana once again. Trying to do as much damage as we can to it while it's out. Almost got it. There we go. You need to lie down. There we go. Highland bow and some bits and bobs from it. So we'll grab all of these. And some mobiles, which is always nice. And we can uh, resume our journey. So we could just dive in here and it's probably safe to just run in and across. There we go. Into the town. And there's the waypoint. And there is the skill point. That is going in warmth. 
0.3% of maximum life for each nearby burning enemy. And it's 0.6% for bosses. So it's not going to be much, but it is going to be constant. Ooh, those are cool. We'll definitely wear them. And that's, that's starting to get very nice. That is starting to get very nice. We could potentially imprint it. But given we've we've got to this level quite quickly, might hold off. We'll have a look. The land is soaked with blood. So Tell me more about it. Light. Okay, we don't really need to know anything about the fields of hatred. We're not going to be doing anything here. At least not for a very long time. Not for a very long time. Okay. So in our in our map regions. Fracture Peaks, we've got the skill point. Dry Steps, we've got the skill point. Hawazar, Kedjistan are still outstanding. Oh my god, there's so many grim favours to be done in here. We are almost level 25. So none of these really work for us, but we could go around Hawazar and get a load of a load of the waypoints to start off with. Do this one, do that one. Yeah. I quite quite like that as an idea. But right, let's let's start here. Margrave. We'll come south from Margrave and we'll grab the two that are on the way. And then next time we can we can look at some uh, some grim favors in the area or more side quests. Before we go off, I might save that actually. Let's let's just salvage those up. One thing I could do though is I could put a ruby in here just temporarily. more thorns more thorns more armor it will do for now kill the wilds just outside of town and keep moving Sorry, you're a friendly. You don't you don't need a giant fire bolt flying towards your face. Uh, with our healing actually. Uh, I do want to like finish getting our, our skill points for the areas, so we're going to do that. Um, but we're probably in a position where we can pick up the uh, the main plot line. Without worrying too much about things. A little bit of uh, life on kill, a little bit of healing from burning mobs near us. It's it's going to make things feel a lot better. Get down into the dismal foothills, past the diseased bears. And up the edge of the old ravine. And we are here. I will pick up the side quests that we have here before we move out. Not while I'm in town. So first up, just over here. What's wrong with the people? You're dying. You must go ask the other elders for it. All right, we'll go talk to people in town because this is a relatively easy job. Everyone with it. Tell me about the sickness. 
don't feel good. No, most people in this area are not in a good way. This sickness is now we've already done this quest in the uh, in the main campaign, so I'm skipping past the dialogue, uh, so we can keep it moving. I need time to prepare that. They uh, say it's incurable, it but it came from somewhere else. With that man's body. I will find someone to take over for me here and meet you soon. Okay, there's a body. Iron skin elixir. I'm happy to find that. That's always going to be useful. Lots of money dropping from them. Okay, next pyre. Yeah, I feel like the healing's taking the edge off. It's not saving us from from danger. There, there's another body. I told Aldara I wouldn't go along with this scheme anymore. She used the amulet on me, her own brother. Oh, I found his body. He's the brother of our local miracle worker, Aldara. The journal. Don't worry. Okay, so we're going to have to go to Light's Refuge in order to retrieve that amulet. We won't do that this time. We'll uh, come down and we'll grab this waypoint instead. And we'll do Light's Refuge next time. And that'll give us both a dungeon and a side quest. So it'd be like a, a two for. Two for the price of one. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's a guy we need to watch out for. Oh, there's loads of them. Right, let's... Uh... Try and be safe with our combat. Without calling many more of them in. Did he just explode on us? That is disgusting. Pull them together. Don't don't let him keep doing that run thing. Right, one of them's gone. Open this malignant heart. I need time. They summon so many, that is worrying. Okay, at least we've got a, a little bit of a defense there. Right, there's the caged heart. We definitely earned this one. Like some of them you think, oh that wasn't that wasn't particularly challenging, but with all these guys exploding, we have definitely earned this one. And a lot of XP as well. Okay. What kind of caged heart is it? After taking elemental damage, gain 43% resistance to it for 6 seconds. It is a big one, and it is brutal. So we're going to want to stick it in a brutal socket when we get the opportunity.
Definitely the best way to stop being followed by stuff. Climb up the cliff. Very nearly at the keep. And there we go. Okay, well we'll uh, we'll kill a couple of uh, things outside. Um, but I think this is uh, this is probably going to be a good point to finish this episode off. I don't think we're quite going to get enough. XP in order to um, to gain a level. Oh, maybe maybe if we uh, if we did like five more minutes, but we can we can always pick that up at the start of the next episode. Let's just see if there's anything else that's close enough for us to take advantage of. Barely one more thing. That's all we need. And out of that's what we needed. That's going to go into more healing, of course. Uh, so thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.